Infamous and Bo, you were last in the studio. We've got the X32 Pro Tools. I'm going to show you how to run your project, whatever you've recorded. It's ready for mixing. Run it back through the X32. So this is the X32 Compact. So it's still got the scribble strips. I recommend if at minimum you get the X32 Compact. Alright, now, first things first, you want to have Pro Tools in setup options playback engine you want the X USB ACO driver okay so once you have that selected click OK also in setup your IO in and outputs input setup so you can see 31, 32 channels output this is more importantly in the mixing process you want to have all the way to 32. Click OK. Alright, the next thing as default with your less complicated interfaces you'll have the majority of the time your outputs there set up as coming out of one, one and two channels, your first two inputs or outputs, sorry. With the X32 you've got 32 channels so if you're on a PC you hold Control Alt just a shortcut and that way it'll simultaneously use your outputs obviously 32 of them so all the way down right till you've used the very last track okay so now that we've got that set up the next step is on the desk itself so on your main screen you click routing on your home, you want everything set card 1 to 8, 9 to 16, 17 to 24, and then 25 to 32. And then aux ins on the aux in remap. And the rest of it doesn't really matter until you get to card output. Okay, then you go 1 to 8, 9 to 16, P16, 1 to 8, P16, 9 to 16. So, if you set that up just like that, you're not going to have a problem. Now, what also helps on the desk are the scribble strips, the way you lay them out. And what I've gone and done is individually named channel 1 to playback channel 1 from Pro Tools. Okay, so that's gone right through channel 4 plays channel 4, 8 plays 8, all the way through, right through to channel 30 plays back channel 30 now channel 31 and 32 I've set up as two track left and two track right so for when you do your mix down and we'll get into more detail with this later this is just so that's the channel that you do your entire mix back through to Pro Tools so when you have that card option set up and you think it's all good you can just double check by going through individually selecting so channel 1 for instance, look on your on your screen on the X32 and just on your home screen you just click across until it comes to configure and you should see that channel 1 is configured to come through card 1 you can also do this manually through here but it's a lot easier if you have a full setup channel 2 comes through card 2, 3, 4, all set up to your card input as opposed to normally it'd be coming local ins. So if that makes sense then we're on the right track. Okay, so if, if you've set your system up just as I've shown you, it's as easy as that. Now from Pro Tools, click play. Whatever project you got coming up, you should see good green lights flashing. Just like that. So that's my project coming from Pro Tools. Then a bit of snare. Turn it up so you can hear. Bit of kick drum. Song's not complete without a bit of lyrics, eh? I'm just a dresser, don't wait for the phone 
Michael's it. Take the drums here. Bass here. Keys back in. Okay, so you get the idea with that. Now, what's the next important thing that you're gonna to wanna to work out? The good news is you've already set it up as long as you've got to set up the same. Now, it's the two track recording side of things. Okay, so this is once you've mixed the track, your whole desk is set up the way you want. So on Pro Tools, in 32 and 31, you wanna have that selected, okay? So arm your track, get it ready for recording, and all you have to do is click record. Alright, and then you'll be able to see on your desk to keep everything set the way you want. 31 and 32 is your channel, recording channel. We're going to hit record. In fact, I'll just show you. I'll play it first. See nothing's happening there. Let's click record. So you'll be able to see the waveform as I take the drums out of the picture. baseline. So you can do this all live recording as you'd expect to. It's the old fashioned way of mixing. So it's all as simple as that. You got your two track recording right there. It's exactly the same as how the old fashioned fellas did it on the big desks. This is just basically all the recording equipment. 32 channel desk in a compact design. So I Without fail, would recommend if you're interested getting one of these X32s. It makes my life easy here at the studio. Mixing, you get to appreciate the sound of the desk and you know what it has to offer. So, it gives you a real feel of proper mixing. I had trouble when I first purchased my desk. Couldn't find you know the best ways to set it up. So I wanted to make this video. Everything's there. The setup's exactly how you're probably going to want it too. So, I hope it was helpful. And um, wish you luck with all your music, mixing, your projects. And um, if this video was helpful, give us a like, share us around, whatever. Alright, thanks for joining us. I'm Lash. This is Infamous Info. I'll catch you fellas next time. Peace.